colony frigate get lost. Um, okay, they all have the fuel. Locate. Okay, very aware of us. Okay, we're fine. Fire traders. Where the heck would you do that? Maybe they're angry because um, we've been stealing so much stuff from them. Yeah, they're beast. Base raided. Yeah, sure, offer them a gift. We want to colonize you. Iron bandits have been eliminated. Ward buggers. Why is there only thirty eight per cent success? Area weapons researched. Intimidator surge blast. ID. Why did you do that? Bastards. Um. Alrighty, hold on, hold on a bit. They want to join us. Yeah. Okay, we know. Uh, we need to set up more research stealing. Basic point defense, sure, that's gonna be very useful. Advanced missiles, kinetic weapons, go with kinetic. Early beam, early ion. Storage systems. Fleet. 
Are you here? Defense fleet. What the heck? All right, let's save. I'm gonna call this invasion. is gonna be a very tough fight if you even manage to win probably we're gonna have an issue with winning Yeah, well, we do have 5,000, but the problem is not all have landed. Come on, bring the tanks. Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, I'm gonna load up probably because um, we need all the forces to come down at once. Damn it, we're gonna lose. Okay, we're gonna try again, uh, but this time we're gonna be a bit more organized. I'm gonna set the fleet to blockade uh, first, which kind of sucks because I've set it to blockade, but then the ships just go, I don't know what. Okay, dumbasses. Hmm. Oopsie. Bring the invasion fleet there, defense force, blockade. What's guard blockade? Move there. Hey, that's nice. Ha ha ha! Howdy. And I already. 
already know that we're gonna need more more troops trying to take over a, uh, a big planet straight from the start Yeah, I'm fine. Waiting for Friday. Cannot wait for this week to end. Though it's um, it's okay. Ooh, this one's already profitable. Not bad. Right, let's hope it's gonna work out this time. Well, it is, um, oh my god, hold on, why is this ship not in, oh my god, the defense force. Blockade, sent, invasion fleet to prepare and raid. Um, why does it sound, uh, I mean, why does it look familiar? It is um, the second, it's the sequel of the first one, uh, Distant Worlds 1, this is the Distant Worlds 2. So we've probably seen it, it's an, uh, Distant Worlds 1 is an old game, but it was very popular back in the day. And based on Distant Worlds, I think um, Paradox made... Oh my god, what the heck happened? Uh, based on Distant Worlds 1... Did we lose the troops? No. Just attack, damn it. No, we do have troops on the ground. Uh, Paradox made made a Stellaris based on the Distant Worlds one. Okay, they must lose troops faster than we do, and that pushes the line over to the towards the enemy. So let's hope. We do manage to win, though it's gonna be very hard. Dang it, look at that. We need more troops. Invasion fleet. Come on, send these troops up. Jesus Christ, where the heck are the ships at? Yeah, I mean, definitely Stellaris is something that is close to uh, close to this game. Dang it. Things went south again. That ship that came messed our plans up. We're gonna do it again. <laughs> Third time's the charm, though. I don't think we can win, but uh, we can severely bust them up. So a second invasion will probably succeed then. Jesus Christ, how the heck do they manage to get? Go here, invasion fleet, please. Defense fleet, go there. Space dock.
Frigid have a score now. How can I cancel the do that? Yeah, it is. That's why I don't own Stellaris. I, I was, um, I did play it when it came out, but I never liked it because it's it's too much of a clicker game. This one you have to do a, a bit more thinking. Frigate. Okay. Uh, defense force going to attack that. They are building the frigate from the planet. They are moving resources and they are building up this ship. Um, it's actually gonna be operational anytime now. Look at that, still missing parts. But there's small ships coming from the planet. They are constantly trying to build up um, something. Okay, are all of the ships here? Dang it. Torpedoes away. That. Yeah, torpedoes can go through the shields and uh, sometimes through the armor. They're trying to get away, but it's too late. Yeah. <laughs> there goes the dildo. Alrighty, now we're gonna give it another go at invasion. Send, prepare, no, just attack. There's still some troops on the ships. Why the heck are you... Located. it. Okay, now all, all the troops are on the planet. If they win, they win. If they don't, they don't. But we're gonna go and pick more up. Can we actually win? Ah, maybe. They have space control because this stupid force is not blockading the freaking planet. Come on. Move. What the heck are they? Dumbasses. Jesus Christ. It's not gonna work out because there's no fleet. There's an additional 25%. Oh my god, is this frustrating. Later on, you know, later on in the game, it's not an issue, but uh, this... Now we have space control. See the difference? 25%. We've immediately started pushing them back. So if it stays like this, we're gonna win. We just need to kill like two, three more um, troops. And they also don't have the, um, the line anymore. Yeah, now we have overwhelming odds. We should be able to win. We're gonna kill off a lot of uh, population, like 2 billion already. But it doesn't matter, this is a um, an insanely rich planet. Our mining ship has been taken over. Hidden vacuum. What the heck?
Hidden Vacuum Dwellers. We have no treaties. Oh, hold on, hold on. How did we break our protection agreement with what? Did they get pissed off? Because <laughs> we're constantly stealing stuff from them. Oh my, this is not good. We actually have to go back with our fleet and buzz them up. Um, as soon as we take over the planet, let's hope they do have castle on. They do, 3000. I've eliminated. We've immediately managed to destroy one independent... Well, it's not an independent call. That was a new one. Um... But we have immediately managed to take over a colony. We're gonna leave them on automatic. There's a lot of troops here. Uh, what I am gonna do though is um, take this off. Technology acquired in conquest. Diploma, Boscara language, okay, fine, that's not that bad. 51 ships after eliminating the Surune Hive. We got 51 ships. That's not bad. <laughs> um, so, you guys need to retrofit. Ah, uh, but that's not gonna work out. Uh, give me a second. Oof. Repair. First defense force repair here. We'll see if it's gonna work out. But we got a lot of ships. Traders. Mostly traders. But, uh... Can you create a company in game? No, it's not about company. How things work? Oh yeah, this we're gonna be at war with these guys. Um, this is the galaxy, and um, you have two types of economies. It's a, a state economy which you own as a player, state economy, uh, and there's a private economy. Which is actually, you don't have much influence on it. And you cannot control. Ooh, ooh. Mm, we have to assimilate them. Oof, this might be tough. We brought in an ambassador, just a second. Uh, ambassador? Tourism income, carrier espionage, spies here, imprisoned by me. Hmm. Oh, oh. Tourism income, counter espionage, concealment espionage. We could just execute the poor bugger. Surunea Hive. But they are dead, aren't they? We have eliminated the... Yeah, they're non-existent anymore. Well, we're gonna... Um, return. You're about to return. This will improve your relations. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, okay. Concealment espionage. Yeah, you know what? If somebody else takes him as a spy... Um, he's not gonna be that good at it. Can we even do it? Ha! Ah, you cannot! <laughs> Counterintelligence... What? Oh, this is a bit of a bug. Hmm. 
30,000 for counter espionage plus 5. We're not gonna do that. We don't have the money because um, currently they are very angry. We're gonna have to pay for this for a while until they actually get assimilated. Damn it, we have to bring that um, thingy up. Can you please refuel? Just refuel here. Yeah, offer them a gift. So yeah, based on what you do, like um, private economy. Yeah, sure. Uh, they build their own ships and they move resources around. So this is um, a light freighter. This is a private economy ship. Uh, I mean private. Yeah, well, private economy. For that. So they move resources around. There's a lot of resources in this game. And I mean a lot. Um... These are the resources by name. All resources. So this is how many resources there are in this game. From steel to whatever. Uh, to luxury resources. So I'm checking the production... Um, uh, shortage fuel and construction resources in use with all resources holy moly I got me worried now we're gonna take these guys over mm. just a second let me grab a drink So whatever you do as a state economy, the private economy is going to start supporting it, moving resources around, fuel, stuff like that. And that creates some um, additional cash flow. Kinetic weapons research. Hmm. We stole that research. Wait a second. What was it said here? Hmm. This is construction. Production shortage. Mining rate. That was it. Production shortage. I think this one. Why doesn't it show? You don't have any shortages except in luxury. Okay, fine. I'm stealing research from pirates, though that's very basic research. Yeah, there's one. Okay, fine. This looks to be under control. Accept trade, new. We need to send the fleet up. No, I'm actually playing as the Dreyhut. It's a uh, hive. Oh my god, we don't have enough castle on here. That's an issue. 
Uh, defense force. We're still gonna send them to refuel here. So the Drehut. Hmm, where do we have the picture? Early ion weapons. Yes. Still research. Tractor storage. Is there storage? A sign. Bombardment weapons research. Okay, not bad. Maybe we do have it here. We should have it here. This is part of an, uh, a DLC. Yeah, that's us. We are sort of bugs. Large, powerful arachnid race. Massive, distended head with prominent red splotches and large orange yellow eyes. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of the bugs. We don't like humans. Yeah. Uh, gonna be their problem but anyway we've managed to take over this planet now let's check if we can colonize an additional planet here we could but we're not gonna we have to make we have to turn this thing into some sort of a fortress planet So we're gonna make a spaceport, a large spaceport. Wait, version 2. Why is there a version 2? Oof. We're gonna go freaking bankrupt. This is gonna take a long, long time before they become happy. We're gonna have to finance this planet for a long time. Jesus Christ. Well, we need to bring the fleet up, but I really don't know how the heck we're gonna be uh, with cash. Things don't look that well. And there's nothing we can do um, unless the private economy kicks in. We do have one more colony ship. Hold on, hold on, why don't we colonize this? Why doesn't this ship have any... Oh, they need population probably. Well, we'll see. It was this thing. Why cannot I colonize it? Fully automate. Go. Something's off. Oh, you know 
what's off? It's not built yet. Yeah, it's not finished yet. Oh, it's gonna take a long time before this one gets finished. These are huge ships. Okay, fine, it's fine. Sun mission. Ambassador. Ambassador. We should probably just execute these guys. Yeah, you know what? Now we do have a colony ship, so they're gonna put up 30 million, and uh, go and colonize this planet. There she goes. That's gonna cost us even more money uh, from start because when you when you actually make uh, I mean colonize a new planet it uh, you have to support it Ooh. can you name drop ship fleet free food sure a whole fleet um, we could offer them a gift let's offer them a gift Wait a second. Yeah, let's offer them a gift. Though this was a bad idea. We're gonna have to colonize them at one point. We could go for a free trade because we are trading with these guys. Exploration ship. Ah, okay, fine. Early beam weapons. Let's start... We're gonna be in trouble, we're gonna be bankrupt. Um Drehut, Hidden Vacuum Dweller, Steel Research, Early Ion Weapons, we already trying to we are trying to do that. Storage systems. Trying to do that. Basic point defense. Constant beam defensive ion enhanced missiles. Alright, we're gonna have to do some counter intelligence at one point. Now we're close to having destroyers, so when we have the destroyers done, I mean researched, we're gonna make a new ship. Um, this is a spaceport, but uh, we're gonna design one or two types of destroyers. And uh, incorporate them into our fleet, though we won't have the cash for it. This might have been a very bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the army costs us a lot. Yeah, this is uh, the money is still positive, though we're gonna be in red anytime now. Uh, this is the cash flow is uh, negative. Location maps discovered, system maps recovered, mission exposed, completed. Still, 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 counterintelligence. You know what we're gonna try? We're gonna go for Xenox mercenaries. 
Oof. Too dangerous. Improve defense tactics. Okay, go with that. Now let's hope that when we colonize the planets and when we build more stations, because we're, we're constantly building mining stations, new mining stations, it's where the, the ping is. These are the resources. So, for example, we're going to go and build a mining station at this planet which has two resources. Um, so you build a mining station there. For example, this is a mining station for this planet. This is Castle that's fuel. So this is what it has inside. Uh, I mean, this is what it has, uh, what it mined. And uh, the private economy, when it starts building ships, you can see that here. The private economy has to pay, uh, actually pays the costs into the coffers. So for each and every ship you get some money, so that's another source of income. I mean, I'm not worried that much about the negative income right now, though this is a very huge minus. Research station being boarded. Mining station being boarded. What? Oh my god. Why don't you want to be colonized, you dumbasses? 